welcome back guys so this is uh, again section 6.2 and the question we are going to discuss today is question number seven so uh, the statement is for the circuit in figure 6.71 so this is figure 6.71 uh, which was previously discussed in question number six assume the inputs are at subtract equal to one okay so here this uh, it is equal to one and therefore at this line we will have a high signal which is one so it will be a high okay so uh, what do we have to do here we have two inputs a is equal to one zero one zero and b is equal to double one zero one okay so for it we have to find the output here okay similarly in this question again we have to make a correction because this one is this bubble is not available here and therefore all of these gates are basically exclusive or gate okay or xor xor gate so uh, you have to make it uh, clear here so um, therefore what do we have here here we have a and a is one zero one zero b is equal to one one zero one okay so here these are basically what these are let me write them with uh, this color okay. so this is what this is um a3 a2 a1 and a0 and these are b3 b2 b1 and b so what will happen here that these two will be added together these two will be added these two and these two and the end of it we will get their outputs okay so these this would be sigma naught sigma one sigma two and sigma three okay so uh, we have to make the same scenario here so therefore now let me write the combinations here with this red color so a0 b0 so a0 is what this is 0 and b0 is 1 okay uh, as these have been written here similarly 1 0 so it will be 1 0 uh, here it will be 0 1 so it will be 0 1 okay and here it will be 1 1 so we have to make the same scenario here so uh, now here we have to see that what will happen so now at the input of this circuitry what we have here here we have this one so if this high is one what will happen it will invert it okay so we will see that if this will invert it why would it invert it because let me uh, give you this that here we have two inputs this b naught and this add subtract and let me call it capital x so here if this is x and this is b okay and sorry if this is here x this is b and here the outputs here which are let me call it y so 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 so i have previously explained to you guys that here this is the exclusive or gate so the only outputs here will be one are those where the two inputs are different okay and these are same inputs so therefore the output here will be zero okay so now here we can see that if the x is one this case okay because now this x is one here which is applied so when x is 1 so then if b is 0 it will be uh, inverted and will give me 1 and if it is 1 it will give me zero. Okay. so in this case when this is 1 and 1 is also applied here so what would i get here here i would get 0 and it will be 1 here uh, similarly the same combination here again we have here 1 so now here 0 is applied so if 1 is applied here we have got here 0 so therefore it will be inverted and give me one and here we have already one here okay similarly one is also available here and similarly this one is also applied here to this exclusive or so therefore it will be inverted and we will get zero because it is one it will be inverted to give me zero here and it will be zero here 
well uh, here also one okay because this these lines are connected with this add subtract okay so here we have one which will be here zero and here we have, sorry here we have a mistake so this is zero and uh, here what would we have here we will have okay so now let me start them here so initially the perf uh, the operations will be performed here and here we can see that 0 0 1 will be added so 0 0 1 adding them what i will get here i will get 0 1 because this one is also feed it into c input because this is the same thing which we have previously seen that after inverting the second number we have to add one with them okay so that operation has been performed here so adding them what i will get here it will be one zero will be c out so it will be feeded here and what i will get here i will get here one one zero so one one zero will be what one one zero these three will be added and here what would i get this is one plus one plus zero that is which is two so here this is basically one zero zero will be here one will be the carry output which is feeded here again so again zero zero one so that is one which is basically zero one uh, in the binary so here it is one zero here as a carry out okay so it will be fitted to this last adder so that would be one zero zero and here it would be what one so which is zero one okay so therefore now this is sigma while this output carry will be neglected so therefore what i will get here it will be one okay so we can see that the output of it is here which is one one zero one which is one one zero one so that is what that is the answer of it and i can also write it here one one zero one is the answer which is basically sigma three sigma two sigma one and sigma naught okay and that is basically the answer of this question okay so here in this question i have illustrated that how a simple uh, adder can be used as a subtractor as well so this is basically the scenario which we have explained here and i will see you with some more interesting questions in our upcoming video take care of yourself and i will see you soon